Para in Orlando. That is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. 29-year-old Omar Mateen shot dead by Orlando police officers after invading a nightclub shortly after 2 a.m. this morning. Mateen used an assault rifle and a pistol, and while he was gunning people down, he called 911, say he was committing mass murder in allegiance with ISIS. Police say Mateen, a private security guard, held a number of people hostage, and the entire incident lasted for about three hours before Mateen was killed. Over that period of time, the casualty count was horrific. 50 people dead, 53 people wounded. Again, this is the worst mass shooting in American history. Oh my God, people are getting shot, dude. Get out of here. Oh my God, dude. It is with great sadness that I share we have not 20 but 50 casualties. In addition to the shooter, there are another 53 that are hospitalized. All over, the vast majority of the gunshot wounds were to the chest, the abdomen, and the extremities. This guy was pacing, looking for a family member back and forth, and he had a bullet sticking out. And the bullet, I kid you not, was this big, half in his leg, half sticking out. After the second shot, there was a pause, and then it just started shooting, 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 shooting. and. That's when we knew something was wrong when we, everybody just dropped to the ground. My son. Do you know, do you know if he's okay? No. Well, he was shot? We don't know. He's in the women's bathroom with the hostage. He's hostage from the shooter. How, how did you find out? He was texting me and called me. What did he tell you exactly? That the shooter has them in the women's bathroom hostage and he's going to die. Now, we don't know what happened to that woman's son as authorities have not yet released all the information about all the victims. We do know more about the killer. He was an American citizen whose parents emigrated here from Afghanistan. He was married with a three-year-old son. His father told reporters he did not like gay people, and that might be why he targeted a nightclub that caters to homosexuals. But if Mateen did identify with ISIS, and he said he did, he's homophobic by association. As every single jihadist on the planet hates gays. At the White House, President Obama said this. The FBI is appropriately investigating this as an act of terrorism, and I've directed that we must spare no effort to determine what, if any, inspiration or association this killer may have had with terrorist groups. Today marks the most deadly shooting in American history. The shooter was apparently armed with a handgun and a powerful assault rifle. This massacre is therefore a further reminder of how easy it is for someone to get their hands on a weapon that lets them shoot people in a school or in a house of worship or a movie theater or in a nightclub. And we have to decide if that's the kind of country we want to be. And to actively do nothing is a decision as well. Once again, Mr. Obama putting the emphasis on guns rather than Islamic terrorism. I will analyze that situation tomorrow in Talking Points. For tonight, let's stay on point and analyze the terror act without pointing fingers at third parties. In the shootout inside the club, one Orlando police officer was shot in the head, but his Kevlar helmet saved his life. No other police officers were injured. The FBI is investigating the case, as you just heard, and apparently the Bureau did have Mateen in its file as he was known to be sympathetic to jihadists overseas. Again, he was a security worker who held a legal firearms license in Florida since at least 2011. The ATF saying tonight Mateen bought the weapons legally. No license is needed in order to own an assault rifle in Florida, an issue that will be closely examined after the terror attack. On balance, it seems to be more about international terrorism and its influence than a gun control issue. However, however, all aspects of the case should be investigated aggressively. Talking Points is fed up with the Islamic Jihad. The world should have confronted it a long time ago. And this containment garbage is getting people killed, as we've mentioned before. You don't contain evil, you destroy it, or it will destroy you. There's no question all Americans are at risk because Islamic terrorists want to kill us just because we are Americans. And that's the memo.